What is going on internet? My name is Stephen Fleming and welcome to my Friday show. For those of you just tuning in for the first time, this is the show where I talk about all the stuff that I thought was interesting from the last couple of days. That being said, let's jump right into the first headline of the day. Today is National Donut Day, a tradition started by the Salvation Army in 1938. At this point, it's pretty much just an excuse for people to eat donuts, but Krispy Kreme is giving away free donuts today, and Dunkin' Donuts is giving you a free donut if you buy a drink. Also, some really exciting news, Dunkin' Donuts unveiled a new breakfast sandwich that uses glazed donuts instead of buns. That gives you all summer to eat those disgusting sandwiches and get ready for Diabetes Awareness Month in November. Moving on to my next headline, a man attempted to slit his wrists on the Today Show yesterday morning. Well, he successfully managed to slit his wrist, but he didn't actually end up getting on the Today Show. A security guard managed to stop the man as he was self-harming, he was apprehended, and then sent to the hospital. The 76-year-old man is now totally fine, and when asked why he did it, he claimed that the IRS stole a million dollars from him, and this was the only way that he could get justice. So yeah, I think that guy has some other issues going on in his life. Let's move on to the next headline of the day. Here's a quick update on the student loan situation. The Senate shot down the proposed bill that would have stopped the Stafford subsidized loan rates from going up. That means that as of right now, they will double on the 1st of June. There is currently $1 trillion in student loan debt in the United States, which is terrifying considering that this is the only type of debt that doesn't disappear when you declare bankruptcy, and it also transfers to your family after you die. Yes, you heard that correctly. Student loan debt never goes away. Why is it that the government continually fails to stand up for the people in our generation? Leave your answers and comments in the comment section down below. Why is our generation just so unimportant to the US government? Moving on to some happier headlines, a brand new Superman Man of Steel trailer came out yesterday. This has got to be the fourth or fifth trailer that I have seen for this movie. That being said, the movie does look like it's going to be pretty good, and it's coming out really soon on the 14th of June. That brings me to another question of the day. Is there such a thing as too many trailers for a movie? Because I feel like Superman Man of Steel has got to be kind of pushing the boundary at this point. As always, links to the trailer in the description down below, and we're moving on to some more movie news. This weekend, well, I guess tonight actually, The Purge comes out in theaters across America. The new James DeMonico horror movie depicts a future in which all U.S. laws are suspended for 12 hours every year to allow U.S. citizens to murder, rape, and rob each other to blow off steam. Not exactly a future that I want to live in, but it looks like it's going to be a good movie, so maybe check it out. Once again, links to the trailer in the description down below. And that brings me to the end of my show. As always, thank you for watching. Click that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe to get updated on five new videos every week. And I will see you guys on Monday. <laughs>